action. Hey everybody, it's Allie from Padfoot Palms. So today we're gonna be talking about belly bands. Um, this is an absolute lifesaver. If you have a male dog, um, whether they are neutered or unneutered, um, a belly band is a, a huge help as far as taking care of some of that marking behavior. So let's come over here and take a look. So what I've got here is I've got my belly band, right? And it'll have um, Velcro on either end. Usually sometimes they have a snap. And then also I've got some cheap maxi pads. Now these are from the dollar, family dollar. Um, it's $3 for this huge pack of pads. There's no reason to go out and spend a bunch of money. Um, also, I don't recommend that you get anything bigger than a regular, just because the pads have a tendency to be really thick, and then it can mess up your measurements as far as the wrap actually fitting around your dog. So that's something to take into account. So um, you can use these. There is an absorbent um, pad here in the center, and you can use these um, and then put them in a bin to be washed. So these are our dirty pads. So I've got this clean one here, and I'm gonna show you. Just take your sanitary pad out. This just helps your um, belly band last a little bit longer. And you just kind of pull the sides up and fit it down. Make sure it's got a good stick. You don't want your dog's hair to be getting, you know, stuck to the pad. That's not comfortable. And then we'll see if Gooby will let us change a pad. Hey, Gooby. You want to back up so they can see you? Hey, good boy. Come here. Let me take your pad off. So the key to... Ah. It's really, everybody. Ah. Make sure he get his hair in it. Okay. So now this pad is dirty. And what I do is just reseal and put it in the bin. Now we've got the clean pad. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you make putting the pad on a positive experience. Um, so you wanna be very careful not to get their hair stuck in the Velcro, right? Nobody wants their hair pulled on all day. And you wanna make sure that you make it fun for them so that they know that putting on the pad is a good thing. Okay, Gooby. Gooby. Okay, okay. Go hey, um, excuse me. Ah. Gooby. Hi, Gooby. Gooby. Come here. Good boy. Yeah, let's put your wrap on. Okay. Ah. So you're gonna, really, Jay. <laughs> so you're slide it underneath. And then I like to pull his tail out of the way. And you want it to be, Jay, stop. You want it to be a comfortable fit, but you don't want it to be super tight. So I've actually got it a little too loose right now. Hey, you're a good boy. Yeah, okay, let's go a little bit tighter. Yeah, there you go. Look at that good boy. He's a good boy, let's wrap him. Yeah. Everybody's good except for Jade. Okay, so. As you can see, we made it a positive experience. Um, if I had some smaller treats on hand, you could give them a treat. It's really about making it fun for them so that taking the wrap on and off is, it's part of your daily routine, but it's also exciting. Um, the other thing that you wanna take into account is you wanna make sure that your dog is clean underneath, right? So if you need to take a, a pet wipe and kind of wipe them down, do not leave the wrap on when they are not being supervised. So if you're gonna leave the house, then they need to be in a pen or a crate um, or a bathroom or you know whatever your containment method is so that they can you can then take the wrap off. You also want to give them days where they go without wearing the wrap, right? You don't want them to end up with sores underneath, especially in that hip joint area. You wanna always be vigilant. If there's any kind of redness or irritation, take the wrap off. And additionally, just because that sanitary pad buys you some extra time, does not mean that you should leave that wrap on them 
you know, for 12 plus hours all day long and not take it off. So you wanna keep an eye on that pad. If it is soiled, you wanna take it off, change it out. And then if the wrap itself needs to be changed, you can change it. Or if it's clean, you can just remove the pad and replace it. So there's Gooby chewing his sweet potato chew. Okay, so that's it for belly bands. Um, I, I highly recommend that you use them. Make sure you measure your dog's waist before you go and order them online. Um, they come in different sizes and they're based on, you know, the measurement of your dog uh, in that area. So make sure you get a, a good tape measure and measure them so that you get the right size. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Gooby, gooby, goo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Gooby, what are you doing? <laughs>